All right, so let's get started now. Okay, guys, so AKU NMD CAD program with me, Shafat Khan. All right, so we are beginning it today on the 7th of Jan, and this will go on for approximately six months, okay, six to seven months till your AKU's exam, right? Um, what we are gonna do over here is to, first of all, prepare for the AKU's exam along with NMD CAT and of course AKU's interview, which will come after the test, but the preparation needs to begin from now. All right, so let's move on to the next slide. How do we begin? All right, so in this class, I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll give you an overview of how to get started with the course, okay, how to approach the course. And uh, by the way, um, just uh, you guys are familiar with the online system and stuff. You guys know how do you address the questions, okay? If you have any question at any time, just unmute yourself and ask it, okay? Uh, if you have any question, if you have 10 questions, you can ask it 10 times, okay? And you guys have my WhatsApp number and the WhatsApp group. So if you have any questions, you can first please send them on the WhatsApp group, okay? If the, mm -hmm. the issue is not resolved over there, then send it directly to me. And apart from that, over here, if there's any issue, no question, no point, so you just, guys, just ask me directly, okay? At that very point, don't leave it to the very end because if you forget, then it becomes pretty bad. Secondly, in these lectures, well, um, let me just be very frank and very open with you guys. NMDCAD or AKU, the test portion, you guys know that it's mainly self-study, all right? It's mainly self-study. Those of you who've been watching my video lectures I've been uh, on YouTube, I've been stressing on this point again and again that it's mainly self-study. So even if you take like the very, the, the, the world's number one tuition in the, in the world from the world's number was one teacher, but if you don't do self-study, then it's it's useless, all right? So self-study is the key. In addition to any other supplementary material you're using, for example, these, this program, self-study is the key. So if you are not putting in at least, at least seven to eight hours daily, all right? I know many of you are giving more than that, but this is the bare minimum, all right? at least seven to eight hours for the start. And then later on, you can increase this time once other banjai tab, all right? But still self-study is again, very, very important. Then, um, by the way, uh, before I move on, um, is everyone in, right? Uh, or, all right, yeah. Um, guys, I'm gonna just uh, address you with your names. Alishba, um, Wait, we've got two Alishbas in here. Achha, ha, take we do have two Alishbas. Anil, okay, you are in. On, Aves, Assalamu alaikum Aves. You can hear me, right? Isha, all right. Farheen, Habiba Mansoor. Hi, Habiba. And then Kashif, Manahil, okay, take a. I, I remember all of you, by the way, Dawood, Hashim, and Vania. And the advantage of having a small group is that you actually know everyone. So, all right, all right, cool, cool. Um, you're not Ahmed Dawood? Oh yeah, you are Daniel Dawood, take it. Okay, all right, all right, Daniel. I'll call you Daniel now. Okay, take it, but that's good. Um, I've interacted with all of you on WhatsApp. Take care. We've talked. So you guys know me. Um, by the way, just to confirm that everyone's awake, can you all send um, a hi message on the chat box? A hi. Just send a hi message. Okay, Kasha. Take it, was take it, take it. All right, thank you, thank you guys, thank you guys. All right, plus guys, um, since you are in this program now, and I know that you've been struggling a lot. I've been through this this phase. This is just trust me. This is the most important phase of your life. All right, if you manage clearing this right now, your life is set. 
okay but god forbid if something bad happens then you it 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 becomes actually a bit a bit disappointing but inshallah you guys will do it all right you need a lot of lots of motivation to get done with this exam trust me guys this is very very important okay to keep you guys going and self study is the key now let's just go over the course material that you'll be using all right so i've i've told him this it's it's on my youtube channel okay i've already given out the material over there um material is simple you just the very first step that you do is download the aku's curriculum from aku's website okay aku's website se download karne ke baad uh, it's on aku.edu and it's the same curriculum which is up there since the last i don't know maybe 3 or 4 years all right it's, it's not, never updated since the last 4 years so you guys can download it from there for chemistry physics as well as biology um the reasoning portion doesn't have any syllabus so we'll be doing that from the past papers all right and then after curriculum um the books that are preferred for both aku as well as the nmd cat are the punjab board books and the islamabad board federal books all right the and national book foundation basically theek hai islamabad board ki books use karni hai aapne and punjab board ki books acha what i personally did was i used this book all right i prepared only from the punjab board books all right but later on i i i uh, found out that the islamabad board books have also been used and they are also quite useful you can also refer to them as well all right but um, what i would what i usually recommend students to do is just stick to this punjab board textbook all right use this as your major textbook and use federal board as your reference book okay the reference means meaning for additional information on the same topic for example if you um let's take an example of biology all right there's a chapter named enzymes in biology all right you study enzymes from punjab board very nicely all right and then you go on to islamabad board books and if you see something you you match the two books and if you see something extra in there you just read it that extra portion only all right this is how you use a reference book just for extra information all right um for aku you might not need a lot of references but for nmd cat you definitely do so it's always best to have both the books with you all right and of course first year and second year books okay first year and second year books all right chem bio and physics all three books are needed now apart from this what are we going to do in this program if it's mainly self study we are going to go over the concepts all right this is the part where most of the inter students struggle a lot all right well it's not your fault obviously it's because of the the curriculum that you've been to yeah yeah definitely on nmd cat nmd cat is for dao it is for dao okay so if you ace this you get into dao all right well dao ke liye yaar you just become the best of the students who are out there all right the top 241 seats of of karachi they'll go to dao out of 10000 i think so yeah khair anyways uh, this was about the concept so the concept building is very important okay so we'll do all the major concepts over here in addition to this you guys have to do your self study all the facts which are there all right the facts obviously even if we we do cover them over here it won't do much good because just covering the facts won't uh, help you guys get them into your memory all right because memory actually requires proper learning and that's the part where self study comes in okay so concept building is where we are going to help you but self study is where okay i can guide you into where you can use different resources for self study but obviously concept building and then the most important part of both the exams are the past papers all right whether you are preparing for aku or you are preparing for nmd cad or you are preparing for nums 
you have to do the past papers, okay? No matter how good you've learned the books, without the past papers, your chances are low, okay? The past papers are the key. And those of you who've been watching my YouTube channel, you guys already know that AKU doesn't make its own past papers, okay? It, it doesn't release its past papers, so we use the recreated ones. All right, Anis Hussain ke past papers aate the, abhi bhi aate hain. Take it. But now we do have the PDF of that as well. So you guys can use the PDFs, etc. All right. Um, but obviously it's going to be outdated. So you might need the latest one as well. But And this late, latest attempt has also been um, compiled on our Facebook group. All right. Then, so past papers are the key. Do as many MCQs as you can. All right. Now, what do you do for topicals? For topicals, after you've covered a topic from a textbook, topicals are extremely important in order to test your concepts. Where to do the topicals from? This is something that I've been asked quite frequently. So guys, remember one thing, we are studying the Punjab board books, right? So any textbook which has MCQs based on the Punjab board book can be used, all right? Any textbook that has MCQs based on Punjab board book or on uh, Islamabad board, it can be used. And guys, if you are from Sindh or KPK, or let's say Balochistan, you have your own textbooks, right? What you are gonna do is, you've already covered those in your inter, right? Punjab board, it matches a lot with these textbooks as well, all right? With a lot of additional information as well. So don't, Think that you are studying something extremely new. It's a, like a certain percentage has already been covered in your schools, in your um inter ki kitabo mein aapne pehle se padhe hue hote hain. To ghabrana ki zarurat nahi hai. Theek hai, ghabrana nahi hai is case mein. Then um and wo to achhi baat hogi if you can just do your own textbooks as well in addition to the uh, Punjab board books. The reason why I'm stressing on Punjab board for NMD CAD as well is because NMDCAD is a national test, right? So they are they use the national level. And if you compare all the provinces textbooks, the Punjab board is one of the, it's actually, it's the best one, all right? And Islamabad board is also like almost of the same level. So, and in the recent attempt of PMC, the questions were based on this book, all right? The answer key was made on this book. So that's why I refer, I prefer this book over the other uh, provinces, all right? And not just me, almost all, 95% of the experts out there who are preparing for these exams, they are um, recommending the federal board books, all right? So it's the safest way is to just stick to these books. And the best thing about them is if you are abroad and you can't come to Pakistan to buy them, you can use the PDFs, all right? Zera, you asked, right? So yeah, PDF. And by the way, welcome Zera. Just joined in, right? Is she here? Yeah, she's here. Okay. Zera, can you hear me? All right. Now, so PDFs are available on their uh, Google. Just Google them. Uh, Punjab board ka hi, uh, wo, uh, board of secondary education ke naam se ek, uh, website hai, right? Punjab board is a bit more advanced. So unki apni website we hai. Website to hair sin ki hai like in uh sin ki wo PDF body mushkil se patani hota bi hai and can ha panjab ka hai. Okay. And ha e core bath map ko bata do important bath. A levels wale mere jo students hai, go sun levai. Because I myself am from the same background. Take a manabi A levels he kiya hai nixer se. Okay. And by the way, I also teach at Nixon. I'm a chemistry teacher over there. Anyways, A-levels wale jo hai na, ye ek cheez yaad rakh le. What we do is we follow the latest updated books, right? Now the problem with that is, that's a good thing. That's not a problem, by the way. It's a good thing. But the problem, there is a problem that um, arises with us is that um, Punjab board, itna nahi hota, but in Sin board, this happens a lot. 
Why am I referring to synth? Because I personally studied synth in a lot more detail, all right, because we, we used to give the synth MD CAD. Uh, we, I actually gave the synth MD CAD, all right. Up synth textbook, mein, ya Punjab textbook, mein, certain information is outdated. All right, Punjab mein itni zyada nahi hoti, but still some information is outdated, all right. And you've already done the, the correct information in A levels, right? Um, वैसे ये चीज इस साल अप्लाई नहीं होगी ठीक है ठीक है जस्ट इग्नोर दिस लाइन दिस वोट अप्लाई इफ अच्छा चले मैं बता देता हूँ फिर भी मैं बता देता हूँ गाइज इफ इट्स एन एम डी कैट अगर एन एम डी कैट आ जाएगा ना अगर इस साल भी एन एम डी कैट ही हुआ और हर प्रोविंस का अलग नहीं हुआ राइट इफ इट्स नॉट डिफरेंट फॉर सेपरेट फॉर एवरी प्रोविंस एंड इफ इट्स जस्ट अ सेंट्रलाइज एग्जाम लाइक द रिसेंट ईयर देन वट विल हैपन इज के यू यूज द करेक्ट facts okay correct facts certain boards they have contradictory values so you go with the values given in punjab board books but if those values are um some of the facts in punjab board book if you find those facts to be wrong or outdated then you go with the uh, with those wrong facts okay if they are given in the question but if uh, a question comes in which this fact of the textbook is given and a correct fact from let's say a levels is given and you know that that fact is correct and if it's uh, it's from a levels of course it's it's not from sin board or some um, some other board then you go with the correct fact okay pehle kya hota tha what uh, what used to happen uh, was ke um, since every province ka alag hua karta tha test so let's say agar sindh ka exam hota tha theek hai So the synth MD CAT, the synth MD CAT. Now this information is worth telling you guys because um, we will study the course. But guys, this is a lot more important, okay? Because if you don't know the direction, you might not be able to study the course more efficiently, right? The synth MD CAT. What they used to do was they used to make the key based on synth board, based on synth board, and synth board had a lot of outdated information. and since the key was made uh, based on sin board the correct answer was that outdated answer which according to the latest updated syllabus of a levels was a wrong answer there was a separate answer for it in a levels but still you had to go with the a sin board key now since it's a national md cat level sort of a test and since from the latest uh, experience that i've seen myself in the recent paper the key it matches a lot with punjab board okay so it's best to just stick with the information in punjab or the second best option is going to be islamabad meaning the national uh, the federal board okay so even if you see uh, some something that's not correct just go over them and just stick to this these informations theek okay? hai well uh, this problem might get solved when they uh, introduce a national curriculum all over pakistan then you just stick to those facts which are given in that curriculum but for now just stick with punjab board and islamabad board all right but this is not something you guys should be worrying about because they usually what they do is they don't give such mcqs or such values which are contra contradictory or which are controversial okay so they try to avoid giving such mcqs because what happens is that that uh, actually results in cancellation of that mcq and it's a loss because they have to give that mark to the students okay guys any question till here koi question agar hai to mujhe puch le please main aage ja to raha hu main puch nahi raha aap logon se guys All right, no question. Take care. Let's move on. All right, Alijma. अच्छा, so ये हो गई बात books की, ठीक है? So. पंजाब 
and federal. Past papers. Topicals. All right, and talking about topicals and the past papers, there's a very um, good resource that is emerging these days with the name of, has any one of you heard of it? Do you guys know what this is? Does anyone know what this is? You can use a mic. Right, Manahil. You've used it. You've heard of it. All right. Yep, MedAngle. Right, it's based on DAO. Okay, no problem. Those of you who don't know it, it is made by our senior. All right, it was first a platform for the main platform is for MBBS. All right, this was the very first platform which was made uh, that had MCQs only for MBBS and the practice tests, etc. But now they've also launched a pre med. A pre med platform. All right. That platform is very good. All right. At my time, there was no such platform. All right. But at your time, you guys do have this advantage that pre med platform is launched. Okay. Over here in the pre med platform, they do have the topicals of every single topic. All right. Even though um, before this class, like uh, I think. Four days ago, yeah, four days ago, they, the representative from MedAngle, they approached me, okay, and they showed me the entire, um, meaning they walked me through the platform, right, and uh, they showed me all the features that they had inside of it, and I quite, uh, I liked them, all right, basically, they had a lot of uh, MCQs and stuff, and you could track your um, knowledge, you also had practice tests, you had online time tests, etc., so this med angle is a very good resource, okay? Um, and I think, they, yeah, they did ask me to collab with them. So let's see if the collaboration does work out. I think you guys might have a certain advantage, maybe a small discount. Let's see. But this is a good platform, by the way. I've used, it, this, used the main platform for MBBS and it's quite good, all right? So if it does happen, I would definitely recommend you guys to take it. And it's not that uh, that expensive either. I think it's it's like 2,000 rupees for six months and 3,000 for the whole year, the subscription. So yeah, it's it's quite cheap, okay? But anyways, this was my angle. Um, so topicals and past papers, but even though if you are using a med angle or not, you do need to do the past papers. You still need to do the past papers, okay? But this is what we'll be doing uh, in class, right? And then of course, I'll be making a lot of, lots and lots of worksheets this time, right? In my previous batch, we didn't do any worksheets, but this time you guys, I'm not sparing you at all, right? You're gonna do tons and tons of questions, all right? Tons and tons of MCQs, because practice is what actually would make you perfect and make you learn the, uh, the facts, okay? So this is pretty much everything about AKU as well as NMDCAT. Now coming to the interview stage, just a, a, a brief talk about interview. Guys, you only reach to interview when you pass the test, okay? When the test is cleared, you reach the interview and you guys know that. And on the interview, you have my, uh, a video on YouTube, okay? Yeah, my. I think the main video on my YouTube channel is about the interview, all right? So I hope you guys have watched it. If you haven't, go and watch it, all right? In which the ECAs, okay, what does ECA stand for? Extracurricular activities, meaning activities that you do other than studying, being at school or off or on campus, all right? And these activities shouldn't be some time-wasting activities. It shouldn't be playing a video game, all right? I remember someone told me, um, CSGO, CSGO Koitana, Own, aapte bola tha, right? Own, you play CSGO, right? Yeah, all right. So basically, these ECAs, these should be productive, all right? Even if you do play a video game, 
all right um it is good it is it might be relaxing you all right it might be giving you a good time but it's it's unproductive to your surroundings right you're just using your energy and your time your precious time and energy and earning getting nothing from it right so this ec that you choose for your interview it must be productive um no um okay so sat let me just tell you something about sat sat the subject textbooks, the subject books, by subject books, I mean chemistry, biology, and physics are not needed, all right? So, and the reason why I say that is because Punjab board have you covered, okay? Punjab has all of that stuff, all right? I've read all the subject books which are in there in the SAT. I've given the SAT subject tests as well, but the knowledge in Punjab board is a lot more better than the knowledge which is in there in the subject test. So it's just a waste of time getting them, all right? If you have a lot of time left, so yeah, definitely you can read them, but I won't prefer them, especially right now when you only have six months left before your test in July, all right? So don't, don't waste time on those, all right? Instead, read the Punjab board books and the federal board books, all right, Vanya? But for the reasoning portion, now, I didn't talk about the reasoning, right? You only talked about the first half of the test. In reasoning, you've got two sections. You've got the science reasoning, science reasoning, and you've got the math reasoning. Now, the, the syllabus of reasoning is not mentioned anywhere on the website, all right? Nor are they gonna tell you. Reasoning means it's, it has to do something with logic. Well, yeah, the name does suggest like that, but trust me guys, science reasoning is very easy. If your sciences are strong, meaning the chem, bio, and physics that you have, chem, bio, and physics, if you have a good grip on all the concepts in there, science reasoning is just gonna be a walk in the park. All right, it's gonna be very easy for you guys. Okay, what about math reasoning? Those of you who've done O-levels, you've, you've had the math, right? Math reasoning is exactly the same. It's not even high level math, it's just D math. All right, let me just uh, write this down on a separate slide. Math reasoning. Now, 95% of math reasoning is O level D math. So if you had an A star in O level D math, help. This is going to be a joke for you. How many does anyone have an A star in O level ad math over here? Anyone in this group? I, I, I think we don't have many O level students in here. Like the A levels are, I think, only two, maybe. Oh, one, well, yeah, you do. Okay, so that's a that's a positive point for you. Anyone else? in O level math or O level ad math? Did anyone have ad math in O levels? Well, I did, by the way. All right, I, uh, Vanya, did you have um, ad math in O levels? All right, um, Farheen, um, did you have an A star or an A? A in O level math. Okay, but still you got an A. Okay, B, all right, no problem. So you guys actually need to work on those, okay? And um, it's just selected topics of DMAT, all right, that are tested over here. Then in addition to O-level math, SAT-1 math. Now, how many of you have given the SAT-1? I think there is a handful of people who did give SAT-1 in here. Did any one of you give SAT-1? Habiba, I think you gave SAT-1, right? Habiba Mansoor, you there? Huh? She isn't. Oh, she is. You did give SAT-1, right? What was your score on SAT? Uh, on the math portion? Was it above 700? How much? Seven twenty. Okay, that's 
that's a decent score. And what about English? Um, what about English? 690. All right, so your total is quite good, but still you need to do better if you want um, a good uni out um, abroad. Okay, so if you've given SAT one math uh, and you've scored more than 700, then this math reasoning math should be relatively easier for you. And then the third option, which is not very necessary, but yeah, you can check out kangaroo math as well. Okay, kangaroo math. Okay, it's not that important. You may or may not practice from here, but SAT one, this is which I recommend most of the time. Okay, SAT one math is the most important portion because doing O level D math, it becomes a bit daunting. It becomes a bit difficult to do O level D math all over again or do those specific topics. SAT one stays like the most feasible is SAT one. All right, but this is I would say the best resource to prepare for math reasoning. And of course, not the entire syllabus, okay? Just a few selected topics, which we are gonna study and cover. And I've, I've mentioned most of that stuff on my YouTube channel as well, all right? So in addition to these lectures, you guys can keep referring to the YouTube videos as well. If you guys don't understand something or are confused about something, you guys can just hit me up on WhatsApp related to those YouTube lectures, okay? Now, so just summing up all the material that we've discussed so far for reasoning. So sciences or science reasoning, it's just the basic sciences, the chem, bio and physics concepts. The conceptual portion, okay? The concepts. And for science reasoning, do um, you guys know about rat spot, right? A-level rat spot. Those of you who are in uh, A-levels, you've already done this. The inter-students, they can practice rat spot, all right? For reasoning, because we've got a lot of conceptual questions in A-levels. Um, Panda math, look, what is this? I have to tell you what I'm saying. You can send me a message on WhatsApp. I've never heard the name of Panda math. Okay? मैंने बल्कि एक स्टूडेंट ने मुझसे पूछा था पहले भी पांडा मैथ क्या चीज है लेकिन I have no information about it so if you could just give me the the syllabus which they those people follow then I can guide you better okay always just send me a text on WhatsApp on how it looks like um, discuss topics from A levels what do you mean uh, for what for sciences or what Or reasoning. Sciences? Well, 100% of A levels is assumed knowledge. You cannot skip any topic from A levels. Okay? Meaning that the topic which you've already covered. Wait, are you from A levels? You're not from A levels, Vanya. Are you or are you, you aren't? Hey, sir, I'm not. I'm an FSC student, okay. so I want you to ask, will you discuss Take topics it. from A-levels? Take it. If you are not from A-levels, then you don't need to worry about A-levels. That's a lot of information, a lot of additional stuff for you. But if you've already done A-levels, you need to have strong concepts of your A-level background. But for inter-students, you don't need to study the A-level textbooks, okay? I think you did ask this the same question from me once on Instagram as well, right? If you need A-level uh, textbooks or not, no, guys, you don't need to study the A-level textbooks all over again or separately. Your own textbooks have enough information for you guys, okay? And those of you who are in A-levels, let me just tell you quickly, 60% of chemistry has been covered in AS and A2 uh, A-level chemistry. 40% of biology is covered, okay? There's a lot of extra biology over here in Enter, so there's a lot of learning in biology. There's a lot of self-study in biology, a lot of facts that you'll need to learn, okay? So I would recommend you guys should start learning and reading the textbooks of biology from today onwards, okay? 
just make it a habit do little by little step by step but keep doing biology and keep revising every single day because facts ekdam se yaad nahi hote theek hai you you need to shift uh, you need to shift these facts from the short term memory to the long term memory and that is done by by continuous repetition okay so the repetition is important okay for biology especially for the factual portion genetics etc the conceptual part that's that's pretty easy to do but the factual portion it's, it does become quite a headache if you uh, you don't do it if you don't start it earlier all right and then what about physics well physics 70% of physics is done in a levels already in as and a2 mainly in as by the way so you've already covered most of the physics all right but there's again a lot of additional stuff in here as well and there are not enough uh when is mdcat expected mdcat date is never fixed okay it uh, keeps varying from august to october so it can be anywhere in this timeline all right but it won't go beyond this or before this okay so don't need to worry but keep expecting it in this uh this timeline uh and august wait what is it it's Jan yeah this is the timeline expected for mdcat okay usually it it is october but it can be earlier it can be in between in, in september as well okay and by the way guys bahut sari news aayegi bahut sari matlab rozana koi nayi khabar aa rahi hogi aap logon ko usse distract nahi hona theek hai har saal ka mamla hai har saal aisa hota hai aur fir in the end kuch na kuch nikal ke aapka ho hi jata hai theek hai to aapne please bahut sare aise fake pages khul gaye hain पैसे कमाने के लिए उनकी बस खबरें ताकि फैलती रहे फैलती रहे फैलती रहे गेट कमीशन फ्रॉम इट सो गाइस कोई भी कुछ भी फैलाए सोशल मीडिया पर यू डोंट हैव टू बिलीव इन इट और राइट ओनली द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट्स द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट पे जो इंफॉर्मेशन आएगी ओनली दैट इज ऑथेंटिक जस्ट ट्रस्ट ऑन दैट डू नॉट बिलीव ऑन एनी अदर सेकेंड और थर्ड पार्टी सोर्सेस ओके प्लीज की हैमर दिस इन योर हैड अभी से बता रहा हूं इसलिए बिकॉज इसी न्यूज की वजह से जो है ना इसी मीडिया इम्पैक्ट की वजह से बहुत ज्यादा बंदे के ऊपर जो है डिप्रेशन आ जाती है सो प्लीज ट्राई टू स्टे अवे फ्रॉम द सोशल मीडिया स्पेशली दोज ग्रुप्स दोज वेबसाइट विच आर एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू यू नो पुट अ लॉट ऑफ बर्डन ऑन यू ओके दे आर ट्राइंग टू डी मोटिवेट यू सो डोंट डोंट गेट फूल बाय दैम राइट प्लीज बी स्मार्ट take good care of your mental health is very important and guys do not compromise your sleep at all okay you need at least 6 to 8 hours of sleep daily to better perform on your exams okay now um let's just sum up everything that we've discussed so far okay so aku/nmdcat in aku you've got a test and in md nmd cat that's the only thing you have in aku you've got an additional thing which is called the interview now the test comes from the textbooks all right the inter textbooks this is based on inter and which one mainly the punjab board and sometimes very little chance of national book foundation federal board and if you guys are uh, have chance or if it is possible um after covering the entire punjab board try going over the national book foundation as well all right then um the test is composed of uh, two parts okay you've got the basic sciences part which include chem bio and physics and the reasoning part now this sciences part is where the nmd cat and aku have a common part okay but these two parts the reasoning and the interview they are specific only to aku okay these are only for aku students by the way um guys those of you who are here um is every single one of you 
planning to give both the tests? Is there anyone who's not planning to give the test? Uh, okay, I'm not asking that you have to go 100% AKU, mein, but test to appear 100%. Just test for the same practice or for any reason. Is there anyone who's not preparing for AKU at all? I mean, it doesn't appear to be in AKU ka test. Mein. Is there anyone over here? Isko AKU ka test dena hi nahi hai. Please raise your hand. At all, own, you're not interested at all. You won't even give it for practice or anything. I just need a confirmation so that I, I have an idea of what we are dealing with. Uh, own, all right, take it, perfect, take it. Uh, is there anyone else? Habiba Mansoor. Uh, but Habiba, you will still give the test, right? Like, it's uh, it's another story that uh, ki baat hai if, even if you get in or not, but you still give the test, right? Or not? You won't I, even won't give the be, test. I won't be giving the AKU test. You won't even be giving it, but your mom did say that she will be giving it. Okay, no, no, no problem. Take it, take it. All right, I got it, got it. Is there anyone else who's, who won't be given the AQ test at all? All right, perfect, take it. So two students don't want to give the AQ test and the remaining students will give it. All right, so guys, now what's my advice to every single person who wants to get into med school, all right? My advice is you take all available options, available opportunities. Okay, what are the all the available opportunities you guys have? You take the NMD CAD, obviously, the public sector. That's one test that you have to give. Then you also take the AKU's test. You also take NUMS test, All right? These are three separate tests taken on three separate dates, okay? The reason why I always recommend taking all the available options or all the tests, okay, I myself, I personally only wanted to get into DAO, all right? But I still gave AKU and to the extent that I even cleared it, I even cleared the interview, I gave it to uh, my 100%, but why did I give the AKU test? You guys know why? Have you ever wondered why? Well, the reason why I gave the AKU test was because it actually better prepared me for my NMD CAD, right? Because those test conditions which are in there, those stressful conditions, they prepare you for, uh, for facing those stressful conditions which you guys would face in the NMD CAD, all right? I know the AKU test, okay. Uh, and you know what? I wasn't even expecting clearing the test, but Alhamdulillah, I cleared it. Then I wasn't even expecting clearing the interview, but I cleared it, all right? Um, so this way you actually get better prepared for the NMD CAD. And trust me guys, giving the NUMS exam before the NMD CAD, it helped a lot, especially if you are from A-levels and you are accustomed to all the comforts of the exam center. Do not expect this at all in, in these centers, please. Okay, Kashif, but there's no AC on the exam center at all. Uh, you might not even get a fan, okay? You might, you, do you guys know, in my NUMS test, I didn't even have a table in front of me. Could table be anything? I, I gave my entire exam on a chair, sitting on a chair. Like, an A-level student can never even imagine giving to, uh, exams under such conditions. But yeah, guys, these are the harsh conditions you have to prepare yourself for. Many, I, um, I know many good students, my friends, who were good students, um, meaning they were very good scorers on their A-levels. They had a very good grades behind them. But the exam conditions, they were so tough that they couldn't handle them. And that was the reason why uh, the NUMS first attempt, um, it was messed up for most of them. But in uh, in my time, they were the NUMS exam, it was reconducted, all right? And then I got a chance to uh, score better grades on the reconducted uh, exam. But guys, if you are from AWS, please. Yeah, inshallah, inshallah, Kashif, yep. So AWS students, 
uh, those of you who don't know about the inter um, exam centers, please do not expect any hospitality, okay? Even um, just get used to the toughest possible conditions as possible. And this, the same is the advice for inter students as well, all right? I don't know what type of um, centers you guys had because the centers vary a lot, all right? From good institutes to, to less better institutes, all right? So you guys have to be prepared because sometimes what happens is okay, you guys know everything. You guys know the stuff. You guys know your knowledge. But exam center conditions are as you have to forget things. Right? So please, you have to be mentally prepared. Okay? Now, anyways, so those of you who are preparing for AKU as well as NMDCAT, you guys have all of this which is on the board. You guys have to take everything over here. All right? But those of you who are only preparing for NMDCAT, the second and the third point is not for you, okay? Only the first part is your concern. All you need to do is you don't need to be um, an all-rounder sort of a person. You don't need to have an exceptional ECA profile. You don't need to have leadership qualities. All you need to have is just good learning skills and good concepts, all right? If you can ace this part, you are in, all right? If you can top it, you are in Dao if you are in Sindh, Karachi, all right? If you can top it in Punjab, you are in King Edward. If you can top it in KPK, you are in um, in KMC, Khyber Medical College. And in Balochistan, if you top it, you have, you've got seats in other provinces as well. And in Kashmir, if you top it, you've got seats in Dao as well. Right, Daniel? Uh, do you know about the seats in Dao for Kashmir? Because I've heard there are four seats allocated to Kashmir this year, or may, maybe in the previous year. Yes, Daniel. So if you top in Kashmir, you, you'll have a chance to come to Dao, right? And we'll meet, inshallah, okay? Uh, but obviously your top priority should be AKU, okay? No less. Dao should be a backup plan for you, okay? It's King Edward. All right, yeah, that's a good choice as well. That's a good choice as well. Uh, well, actually, I would place AKU before King Edward too. But still, King Edward is also a good place, a very competitive place, all right, and very difficult to get into. But guys, you know what? Um, never mind, okay, I, I won't tell you this right now. Okay, once you get into medicine, inshallah, I will tell you that, all right? This is just a fact you guys should, um, should know, but after you get into medicine, inshallah, right? So take care. Sciences ke liye. Yes, yes, Vani, I'm coming to the interview portion right now in this uh, slide. Now in sciences, you've got chem, bio, and physics, take care. And Punjab board or federal board. And that's all you need if you're only uh, planning on acing the NMD cat, take care. And by the way, uh, King Edward, you guys, I hope you guys know the, the com competition in Punjab, okay? So you have to score extremely, extremely high to get into King Edward, okay? But anyways, now, now is relatively easier to get into. Now then, reasoning part is sciences. So if your concepts of sciences is strong, then your reasoning is uh, good. Um, no, but Isha, actually Punjab students, they don't have any seats in Dow. Yeah, if you are in, an international student, you can apply to Dow International, but as an international student, and that's gonna be very costly, okay? Um, but from Punjab, you got very limited options. You just have the public sector and the private sector. And I think AKU, yeah, you do have AKU obviously, but that's all. It's a competition that you have to beat to get in, all right? But you should focus on AKU test. Now, sciences, then sciences came out. Um, you've got math reasoning portion, okay? And in math reasoning, SAT1 is the um, is where you have to practice, all right? Khan Academy is a very good resource, okay? But uh, yes, Alishba, you can definitely apply for international seats on a for AKU, but it's uh, a lot more costlier 
than the local state. Okay, it's it's around thirty-two thousand U.S. dollars per year, so it's a lot. Okay, so it's better to apply as a uh, as a local. Okay, and get in. Local states are uh, around twenty-two lakhs per year. All right, Elijah, can I move on? Okay, can move on. Now, um, SAT one math portion will actually help you prepare for math. Then um, interview. So for interview, you have to start developing a good ECA. Well, actually the best time to start preparing your ECA is at the start of your first year actually. But now, since you are in this your second year, it's fine. You should still do your best, to develop a good ECA and something that you could talk about on the interview. And most of you who've spoken to me on WhatsApp or Instagram, I told you, I've advised you, I've given you the tips regarding your ECAs and every single one of you have your own unique ECA, okay? Your ECA is unique to you yourself, okay? Your personality, what sort of a person you yourself are. For example, I'll just give you an example. Me, let's take me as an example. Right now, I am teaching you guys, right? So this is my ECA. Although this is learning, but it's not reading or the textbook, okay? It is teaching. This is something I'm, I'm myself, just taking an example, I am good at, right? So I'm using it and I'm trying to help out others. I'm trying to be productive. This is earning me money, right? So it's productive for me. This is giving you guys knowledge and giving you guys uh, a chance to get into AKU or DAO or a good college, right? So this is a, something, it's unique, it is productive, And it is, it is productive, so it's not time wasting. It is unique and it is adding value to you, okay? Or, and also an additional point is that it, it should be leadership. It should show your leadership qualities, okay? Because leadership is a plus point for you, right? AKU wants leaders and dedicated learners, obviously. Because the same reason, the only one reason is the cost. Okay, I personally belong to a middle class family and I couldn't afford AKU and I was getting into DAO, so I didn't give a damn. <laughs> That's the reason. Okay, I was uh, um, in one of the highest merits. Okay, my merit number was 30th in DAO, so I preferred going there instead because even if I took loan, I had to pay it back. So I just didn't want to go to AKU. Okay, Isha? It's the fee structure. Now, I think someone asked another question. Just one second. My A-level grades were four A stars. I had math. Okay, a lot of certificates. No, 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 one year. You do not need a lot of certificates. They won't even bother seeing your certificates. You know, uh, I took like a whole bundle of certificates. They just asked me the latest one and they didn't even see it, okay? So you don't need a lot of certificates, but yeah, it's good to have a lot of certificates. It's good to have a bundle in your hand just to show off, or maybe they might it might help you, but it's not important. It's not necessary to have a whole certificate of ECAs. The most important part of ECA is that you should have one ECA, okay? Or two ECAs, but you should be a specialist of it, okay? You should be, like a master of that ECA, like there should be no one better than you at it. For example, teaching is my career, right? Right now, if I were to apply right now to AKU, I would give this as my ECA. I'm trying to teach people. I'm trying to bring value to them. Okay, someone, for example, is good in sport and they, let's say, read the captaincy position. So captaincy is leadership. They're trying to um, run the entire team. They're trying to lead by example. That's leadership. That's that will add value to the team. Okay, that's productivity because uh, you that will give bring value to AKU itself. Because if you are good at sport, you are gonna be good at um, using the facilities in AKU. You might be helping out people in AKU in sport. All right. So that's your uniqueness. That's something. That's a unique quality about you. All right. But ECA skill, I will. Try my best 
to reach out to you guys personally and guide you personally, okay? So do not worry about ECAs, all right? But right now, um, those of you who've um, joined the program, like I think a few weeks back, I did tell you guys to start um, exploring your ECAs, your fields, start exploring the stuff that you guys think suits you the best, all right? And once you explore that, will I, my job, okay, your job is to explore your ECA and find a good ECA that suits your personality. My job is polish, is to polish that ECA for you and make it better, make it work for your interview, all right? I will use that ECA and help you answer the interview questions right? Polish it for you guys. But trying to find what suits you the best is what you yourself know the best, all right? If you are good at, let's say, horse riding, uh, I think Manahil, you told me, right? You started out uh, horse riding. So you have to, you know, be very good at it. Give at least an hour. Manahil, are you there? Yeah. So you have to be good at, good, good at it. But this is just an example, okay? You don't actually have to be a horse person to do good at it, okay? Uh, but interview ke baare mein, I won't talk in, during these classes, I won't be talking about interview after this class, all right? I'll be talking to you personally uh, regarding interview, okay? On your WhatsApp, not gonna take time on this class because um, it's, not, it's no use, right? Because the very first thing that you need to clear is the test, so, it's better to give this time to test and then I can give you personal time for your interview. Take care. Uh, okay, we are running out of time, but just give me some more time, guys. I, I just want to talk a few more things. Past papers. I've solved uh, to 2012 AKU's original paper. Okay, it was an original paper, which uh, I took from my institute, all right? I don't know how did they uh, get it, but they did give it to us and then I solved it and I, I uploaded it on my YouTube channel. So you guys will have to um, go through all of that paper, all right? It's gonna help you a lot, okay? So that's pretty much it about the intro. So your job from today onwards, Step number one is to get the books, okay? PDF or hard copies, but you need to get them. And chem, bio, physics, both first year and second year. After you have them, you start reading from the first year and you start reading bio first, okay? because bio is something you'll need to learn. And it has the major number of MCQs as well on the exam. Achha, haan, AKU ke paper pattern ki humne baat hi nahi ki, right? Paper pattern bada simple hai. The science reasoning part jo hai, the science reasoning part has no negative marking, okay? No negative marking. and the math reasoning as well. Okay, the math, science and math reasoning do not have any negative marking, but the sciences portion, it does have negative marking, okay? Well, he point two five wali, Purani wali, okay? So if you, let's say, um, score like 80 on 100, okay? Just giving you a made of value, And 20, right? This is how negative marking would work. And by the way, the MCQs, uh, the sample paper on AKU's website is very important. Okay, just go over it. Uh, the MCQs, they vary, okay, every year. Five, the MCQs upper niche hote rehte hai paper pattern mein. Lekin, um, it's more or less the same. 20, 20, 20, abhi recent paper jo aaya tha, usme tha. Ke chemistry ke bhi 20 MCQs the, bio ke bhi 20, and physics ke bhi 20 the, and reasoning mein 30, 30 the. Theek hai? Raising me, they were 30 30. Whereas, um, you know, AKU ki baat ho gai, NMD CAT ki agar aap baat kare, 
तो एन एम डी कैट वॉज डिफरेंट ओके उसमें सिक्सटी केमिस्ट्री के थे उसमें ट्वेंटी इंग्लिश के थे एटी बायोलॉजी के फोर्टी फिजिक्स के टेन लॉजिकल रीजनिंग के अध्ययन बेसिकली यू डोंट हैव अ मिनिमम स्कोर इट डिपेंड्स इट वेरीज एवरी सिंगल ईयर दीज टू कॉम्पोनेंट दैट यू हैव द साइंसेस कॉम्पोनेंट and the reasoning component you have to pass them just pass them pass them individually okay pass these two um, portions individually and in in the recent year sciences was 75% so anyone who scored 75% or above was passed in here and reasoning uh, no this was 70% and reasoning was 75% Okay, so anyone who scored seventy five percent or above, he had uh, chances of getting into AKU. But remember one thing: this uh, these values they keep on changing every single year, depending upon the test difficulty, depending upon the number of people who clear the test. All right, in my time, uh, reasoning was sciences was sixty percent, and reasoning was sixty nine percent. And can you see how it they rise in the recent year? Okay. so this is what actually keeps on happening so this there is a rising trend over here as well maybe because the paper was pretty easy or perhaps there were many good people this year so ye ho gaya aapke paas books ka kaam past papers ka bhi ho gaya baki sab bhi ho gaya theek hai guys now as soon as the med angle team approaches me again for the um, finalization of the collab um i'll let you guys know and i would actually want suggest you guys to get the med angle subscriptions theek okay? hai not for a lot but for at least the aku's period 6 months okay avesh i think is saal isse zyada tha ye itna kam to nahi tha हाँ मेड एंगल की मेंबरशिप अगर लेनी है तो यू गाइज हैव टू लेट मी नो ओके यू गाइज हैव टू टेल मी डोंट डोंट गो डायरेक्टली अदरवाइज यू माइट नॉट गेट अ अ डिस्काउंट व्हिच दे आर ऑफरिंग माय स्टूडेंट्स आपने दिया था अवेस ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस स्टूडेंट अवेस ही सेज 57 परसेंट वाज द कट ऑफ ऑफ साइंसेस इन ए and 60% was the cut off in reasoning okay so guys please note this because maine bhi jo value batayi hai wo wo bhi mujhe kisi aur ne batayi thi kisi student ne ki ye itni values thi lekin uh, always apne khud test diya tha right so okay guys please note these values for aku exam so at least 57% was the passing mark for sciences and 60% So this appears quite easy to clear, but guys, ये इतना आसान होता नहीं है, ठीक है? अगर easy होता तो फिर काफी लोग clear कर जाते हैं ना. Fifty seven percent का मतलब ये है कि paper बहुत difficult आया था, ठीक है? Guys, any question you have अभी for me? गाइज मेड एंगल की सब्सक्रिप्शन आप directly लीजिएगा मत अभी, ठीक है? Please do not get the subscription right now. Okay, once I tell you get them then. ठीक है एंड गाइज जो रिसोर्स मैंने जो मटेरियल मैंने आपको लेने को कहा है ना उसके अलावा भी कुछ और एक्स्ट्रा मत लीजिएगा प्लीज ठीक है फजूल में पैसे जाया मत कीजिएगा ठीक है जो मैं बस कहूँ बस सिर्फ वो रिसोर्स आपने यूज करना है एंड गाइज मैं आई एम सॉरी आई एम टेकिंग एक्स्ट्रा टाइम बट प्लीज लिसन टू मी इफ यू गाइज वॉन्ट एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू योर मेड स्कूल यू नीड टू शो अ लॉर्ड ऑफ डेडिकेशन and guys trust me this batch that you guys are in you guys are extremely good okay and you guys should be proud to be in here okay because this time i've been very very strict in uh, in trying to get people in okay only the like this batch actually has a lot of smart people in here and no 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 don't buy anything yet for him just buy the textbooks for now don't buy the past papers right now डोंट बाय दैम ओके जब खरीदने होंगे मैं आपको खुद बताऊंगा ठीक है एंड 
guys, is everyone listening to me? Do not buy any additional resource. All you need to do right now is just buy the Punjab board books and the federal board books. And I'm assuming most of you already have it. Okay. Guys, bahut sare smart log hai is group mein, theek hai? Uh, I'm assuming ke almost 100% hi hai. Yes, AKU test is usually given before. Theek hai? Lekin, lekin, if you do not show dedication and plus consistency, guys, consistency is a lot more important than hard work and smart work. If you are not consistent, but if you are working hard, let's say one day or two day, no, do not buy the SAT one textbooks right now. Okay, I'll tell you which ones to buy. Okay, don't get anything yet. Agar hai pehle se to achhi baat hai, lekin abhi kuch extra mat lijiyega. Theek hai? Consistency is the key. All right. If you are not consistent enough, you might not uh, manage completing the entire course. Abhi chhe mahine hi hai. Theek hai? Aaj hi abhi is class ke baad apne padna shuru kar dena hai. Theek hai? Guys, Saturday Sunday class nahi hogi. Monday se fir ham full flesh. अपना बैच शुरू करेंगे ठीक आज एक बड़ा इनफॉर्मल सा सेक्शन था ठीक है एक्चुअली मुझे स्टार्ट मंडे से कराना था लेकिन आज मुझे ये इंट्रो क्लास देनी बहुत जरूरी थी ठीक है अब आप लोगों के पास सब कुछ आ चुका है कि पढ़ाई करनी कैसी है और क्या क्या चीजें पढ़नी है ठीक है डेडिकेशन और कंसिस्टेंसी एंड गाइज रिमेंबर वन थिंग जो जो चीजें मैं आपको दे रहा हूं ना आपने वो चीजें पूरी अच्छे से फॉलो करनी है इफ यू गाइज डू दैट you guys have, would actually have a very very good chance of getting into your dream college okay particularly aku yes first year sure adhyan acha guys there is no english language section in aku test no no aku section test yes punjab board textbook ki first year ki book se aapne start karni hai theek hai एंड गाइज फर्स्ट ईयर की बुक आपने ऐसे मतलब अंधाधुन पढ़नी नहीं है ठीक है ए के यू के करिकुलम को देख देख के पढ़नी है एंड आपको ये देखना है कि ए के यू के करिकुलम में जितने भी अच्छा ए के यू के करिकुलम की एक और चीज आपको बता दू कि उसमें पॉइंटर्स बने हुए हैं राइट सो जो बेस्ट स्टूडेंट होते हैं ना वो क्या करते हैं पहला पॉइंट पढ़ लेते हैं ठीक है उसमें लिखा होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेल सेल डिफाइन स्टूडेंट शुड बी एबल टू डिफाइन सेल ठीक है ये पहला पॉइंट है फॉर इंस्टेंस स्टूडेंट ने ये पढ़ा एंड अपनी टेक्सट बुक खोली पंजाब बोर्ड की एंड उसमें वो डेफिनेशन वहां से अच्छे से पढ़ ली उसमें जितना कुछ इन्फॉर्मेशन है वो सब कुछ याद कर लिया अच्छे से फिर उसके बाद वो स्टूडेंट ने दूसरा पॉइंट पढ़ा और फिर उसे याद किया फिर तीसरा पॉइंट पढ़ा और उसे याद किया एंड करते करते सारे के सारे पॉइंट को कवर कर लिया दिस इज द बेस्ट वे ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग ठीक है एके यूज करिकुलम इज ऑन द वेबसाइट एके यू डॉट एडीयू ठीक है ऑन अंडर ग्रेजुएट एडमिशन में होगा ठीक है उसमें जो मटेरियल करिकुलम के नाम से होगा उसे आपने अभी डाउनलोड कर दिया मैं ग्रुप में भी उसके पीडीएफ अभी भेज दूंगा ठीक है वो आपने डाउनलोड करके उसको इस तरह से पढ़ना है ठीक है यू हैव टू डू इट पॉइंट बाय पॉइंट वर्ड बाय वर्ड ठीक है एंड यू यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट यू डू नॉट मिस आउट एनी ठीक है फिर उसके बाद एंड um there is a high chance that you might be able to if you are a punjab board student and you've already done your uh, textbook you might um complete the, all of these points uh, a bit before time or let's self study mein aap pehle se kar lenge fir uske baad aapne kya karna hai ke aapke paas jitna bhi ab additional bach chuka hai na in pointers ke ilawa apart from these pointers fir aapne wo cheeze padni hai apni textbook mein theek hai kyunki um and the reason why i'm uh, preferring this method is because agar aapne पूरी टेक्स्ट बुक वर्ड बाय वर्ड पढ़ने शुरू कर दी देर इज अंस कि यू माइट नॉट बी एबल टू कम्प्लीट द एंटायर टेक्स बुक ठीक है सो द बेर मिनिमम इज दैट यू शुड बी एट लीस्ट एबल टू कम्प्लीट द करिकुलम विच इज आउटलाइन ऑन एक यूज वेबसाइट एंड बाय दे आर नॉट बाउंड टू गिव यू फ्रॉम दिस करिकुलम ओनली ओके दे कैन गिव यू फ्रॉम एनी वेयर फ्रॉम द टेक्स बुक बिकॉज द एक्चुअल थिंग इज द टेक्स बुक ठीक है द सिलेबस इज द इंटायर टेक्स बुक दिस करिकुलम इज जस्ट टू गिव यू एन आइडिया ओके एंड प्लस डूइंग द इंटायर टेक्स बुक will also help you on the nmd cat theek hai since since this is a dual section uh, preparing you for both of them so what you need to do is just do the entire textbooks theek hai so monday se inshallah we are going to do chemistry on monday theek hai i'm going to waise aaj bhi maine chemistry ki karhani thi lekin ab baaton mein itna time maine nikal diya but khair inshallah monday se full fledged padhai hogi theek hai 8:30 is the time um guys agar aapko koi bhi question hota hai kisi bhi time pe तो पहले आप 
अगर पर्सनल नहीं होता ऑब्वियसली मतलब अगर कोई पढ़ाई का क्वेश्चन होता है तो फर्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड ऑन द ग्रुप ठीक है बहुत स्मार्ट लोग हैं माशाल्लाह से अपने पास ठीक है तो प्रोबेबली कोई ना कोई आंसर कर ही देगा अगर फिर भी नहीं हो पाता तो देन आई एल आंसर ठीक है एंड देन अगर कोई पर्सनल क्वेश्चन पूछना होता है ई के बारे में पूछना होता है या कोई गाइडेंस चाहिए होती है या कुछ भी चाहिए होती है जो कि आप यूट्यूब पर नहीं पूछ पाते अगर आप एक यूट्यूबर हो यूट्यूब के मतलब सब्सक्राइबर होते तो वो आप पूछ सकते हैं ठीक है बेधड़क पूछ सकते हैं आप मुझे डायरेक्ट व्हाट्सएप कर सकते हैं यही फायदा है यूट्यूब पर और यहाँ पढ़ने का ठीक है बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली यू गैज अ पेइंग तो कुछ तो एक्स्ट्रा हो ना तो वो एक्स्ट्रा चीज ये है कि यू गैज कैन सेंड मे व्हाट्सएप ठीक है फिर जब भी मुझे जैसे ही मैं फ्री हूँ मैं आपको टेक्स करके रिप्लाई कर दूंगा एंड सेकेंड थिंग इज ई की जो है ना मैं आपके अब स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली मैं आपको अप्रोच करूंगा ओवर द वीकेंड ठीक है that's all for this class i guess i i hope you guys did get an idea of how to start isme actually mai teaching ka aap logo ko itna idea nahi hua hoga but ha guidance i hope mil gayi ho to guys kaisi thi class was it but hi to itni nahi thi but koi cheez aisi hai jo samajh nahi aayi ho main samjhane ka kuch tha bhi nahi facts the as how was it was fine हाँ हाँ यस यस श्योर अवे सब चले जाए यार ढूंढ भी ऑब्वियसली इट इज केयरिंग लाइक एम डी कैड है एंड इतने सारे स्टूडेंट्स के साथ कंप्लीट करना है तो या योर वेलकम ठीक है एंड गाइस डेडिकेशन इज द की अब ये इन छह महीने के लिए बिल्कुल अपनी सारी चीजें जो है ना अपनी सोशल लाइफ को बिल्कुल इग्नोर कर दें ठीक है अपनी फैमिली गैदरिंग्स को इग्नोर कर दें अपनी शादियों पे जाना छोड़ दें ठीक है बस सिर्फ मॉर्निंग वॉक अगर करते हैं तो वो करें अगर नहीं करते तो वो करें भाई मॉर्निंग वॉक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होती है ठीक है एंड स्ट्रेस रिलीफ करने के लिए एंड फिर उसके बाद मैक्सिमम मैक्सिमम टाइम के लिए जो है ना अपनी बस पढ़ाई कर ठीक है एंड थैंक यू तो बस ठीक है दैट्स ऑल गाइज फॉर दिस सेशन यार काशिफ ये कैसे क्वेश्चन पूछे यस काशिफ एग्जैक्टली मैं यस यस मुझे अंदाजा हो गया था वैसे लेकिन आपको मेरे एक्सेंट से पता चला या क्या एक्सेंट तो खैर मैं कराची वाला है देखिए ऑन ये क्वेश्चन जो आपने पूछा है ना दिस डिपेंड्स अपॉन यू योर सेल्फ ठीक है इफ यू give the required amount of time the required amount of hard work then you can do it because i told you it's mainly self study what i am going to do is i am going to give you the concepts okay give you the concepts jo ki aapko self study se samajh nahi aayenge lekin un concepts ke sath agar aapne self study nahi ki jo facts se unko yaad nahi kiye so you can't get a 190 or something theek hai so you need to you need to be very focused you need to be hard working you need to give maximum amount of your life now during the 6 months to your studies theek okay? hai guys start out from biology followed by chem you guys can do physics in the end okay because this is something that usually people find a bit challenging so less challenging hota to nahi hai lekin pata nahi kyun logo ko lagta hai yeah um bas inhi ko abhi aapne is over the weekend just do these three things theek okay? hai फर्स्ट ईयर को पहले करें सेकंड ईयर को बाद में निपटाए एंड वो लोग जो कि इंटर के एग्जाम दे रहे हैं गाइस ये कोई एक्स्ट्रा चीज नहीं है ये आपके इंटर का ही सिलेबस पढ़ाया जा रहा है ठीक है देखो ये मसला था ना कि इंटर के एग्जाम के साथ क्या से मैनेज होगा गाइस हो जाएगा और ये अभी नहीं करोगे तो कब करोगे इंटर के बाद इंटर के बाद तो एक महीना होता है उसमें क्या करोगे फिर गैप ईयर अल्लाह ना करे लेना पड़ेगा तो इसलिए इट्स बेस्ट के जस्ट स्टार्ट आउट विद दिस ठीक है गाइज और राइट क्लास हाँ तब तक पी डी एफ ले लो ओके गाइज देन टेक केयर अल्लाह हाफिज एंड अध्यान अच्छा गाइज ये वीडियो रिकॉर्डिंग की जहां तक बात है ना गाइज अगर कोई जेनविन रीजन की वजह से कोई क्लास मिस करे ना उसको मैं रिकॉर्डिंग दे दूंगा लेकिन वैसे यू गैज वोट गेट रिकॉर्डिंग ठीक है आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग एवरी सिंगल वन ऑफ यू टू अटेंड दिस ओके लेकिन अगर आपको कोई जेनविन रीजन होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल कोई क्लास के साथ क्लास आ रहा होता है या कहीं कोई ट्रैवल कर रहा होता है तो या देन यू गाइस कैन टेक इट ऑन ठीक है राइट देन टेक केयर गाइस व्हाट इज लॉजिकल रीजनिंग इट्स नथिंग इज जस्ट अ वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम
ठीक है लॉजिकल रीजनिंग में यही साइंस रीजनिंग के क्वेश्चन दोबारा पूछे जाते हैं कुछ इतना कुछ खास उसमें और वो ईजी होते हैं जनरली स्टूडेंट्स को बड़े ईजी लगे थे इस साल तो पास पेपर करके उसकी प्रैक्टिस हो जाएगी लॉजिकल रीजनिंग ठीक है हाशप ओके गाइस देन आई मैंडिंग इट कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं है किसी का ठीक है अल्लाह हाफिज वैसे अच्छा लगा आज पढ़ा के